Hi, my name is Kane. This is Castle Tutelage, your home defense network. Um, a couple of people have been asking me about this gun, and, and, and I did a little bit of a video on what a pistol chamber carbine can do for home defense. Now I'm just going to be doing a little bit of review of it since uh, uh, it is out. This is a high point. Yes, it's a high point. That's, the model number is 9540TS. It is a very good and fun little gun. This particular one shoots uh, a 40 Smith & Wesson. You can also get them in 9mm and 45 ACP if you so choose. Uh, those are different model numbers. Um, now, I've I've probably put a, a, in the neighborhood of a thousand rounds to this in the past uh, six months. And it's a fun little gun. This is a blowback design. Uh, a high point. It's a little bit on the heavier side as far as the, the pistol chamber carbines go, but you know it, it does a good job as far as recoil. Also, it's almost non-existent. This little butt plate right here has springs on them. Irrelevant. They don't even need to have this on here. It's just over-engineered for uh, just a bunch of nonsense. Okay. Now the nine millimeter is a sixteen half inch barrel and. The 40 Smith & Wesson and the 45 ACP is a 17 and a half inch barrel. Um, the, the, the original sights on here are iron sights and for a cheap or for a relatively cheap gun, they are excellent uh, uh, iron sights on them. I didn't have a problem. I think I only shot about 50 rounds with it with the iron sights um, just to get the used, to, uh, used to it. And then I had this uh, True Glow red dot uh, just sitting around. so. Um, I took off the iron sights, and I also took off um, the front sight uh, uh, guard post up here also, so it, it, it can be extended if you want out here. I just thought it looked better uh, with it not being on there since I didn't need it anyway. And uh, and coast, having a, a coast sight situation uh, to me is always kind of silly. I, you don't really need it. Um, the one thing about this is that... Uh, if you see, the charging handle is going to be on, on the left side. If you are a rifle guy and you do a lot of bolt action, it's going to be on the right side. However, you can um, uh, buy a conversion kit to put it over here. The reason I like it, actually, is because it, it kind of mimics what you're doing with your pistol with doing the malfunction drills. Because what you're doing with the malfunction drills, I'm right-handed. Most of the, the slide is going to be done with your left hand. So you're not going to have to retrain, uh, especially type 2 and type 3 uh, malfunctions, and retrain it doing it on this side when it's, it's already on this side. Uh, to me, it's just a, a, a nice, um, easy kind of a situation. Now, there are two Picatinny rails, and one is down here. And you can put um, um, a tri-rail right here. And... I, I just put a light there. It's a cheap, uh, this one is actually through uh, uh, High Point, the company, and it's just 90 lumens. It does a, a good job. You shouldn't get anything less than a, a 90, uh, 90 lumens, okay? The Picatinny rail, and this is the Picatinny rail that uh, the iron sight sat on, and it's a good plastic. It, it, it's, a, it's nice and strong. Um, the, the red dot has been uh, nice and secured um, in that fashion. The one thing I, I did get is that you can buy their version of a saddle and I got it through uh, the High Point website and what it has is that you can put two magazines on your stock so you can be carrying around in, in this scenario 30 rounds on you which is going to give you a little bit more ease and, and firepower as far as um, having a handgun with you so you just you know pop it up and, and, and put it in so it's a, a nice smooth easy transition um, the pistol chamber carbine, I've been getting, um, compared to my four and a half inch barrel Breda that shoots a 40 Smith and Wesson and what this actually puts out, the speed actually increases on the average of about 160 feet per second. So you're getting that more accurate punching uh, power kind of thing. And what I'll do is I'm going to be putting up, um, three photographs on the ease and control of the accuracy. If you look at the thorax, those are all stationary, but all the headshots are doing multiple um, headshots at, uh, at 45 feet. So you're going to be able to see that um, this carbine is very accurate.
Um, the, the trigger on this is going to be a little bit different than what you, you're used to. It's basically the best way I can describe the, the trigger as popping a, a bubble from your, you know, those bubble pot, those bubble wraps kind of popping it kind of like you kind of feel it gives and it just breaks. It kind of, it's, it's like a staple gun. It's, it's more of a Glock feel than anything else. You're not going to have any trigger, uh, trigger creep. It just breaks. And, you know, some of the reviews that you hear on YouTube about this gun, they'll complain a little bit about the, 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 the trigger. Um, it's just one of those things where uh, you just need to get used to it. And why complain about it? Because it is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure if you can improve on the, the trigger mechanism in a high point. I'm not sure. This is the only high point that I've ever sh uh, shot. I've never shot the pistols. And I... I, if you saw the, uh, the, the the photographs, except for that one flyer, I think that was my second shot. It was either my first or second shot, and it was way down to left. I have no idea where that came from, so it is what it is. So when you're looking for a, 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 um, a single um, a pistol chamber carbine, you know, a high point should really be considered. This is a very good and reliable gun. There's been several knocks about uh, the, the pistol. And again, I've never shot the pistol, and you just hear people on YouTube bitch about them every once in a while. The the one thing, what I was doing is I was shooting full metal jacket, obviously on paper, and I shot, um, I want to say 150 rounds of the Winchester Hollow Point. And if you look, if you look at that hole, it's it's a pretty big hole, and this particular high point has been eating it up like uh, like there is no tomorrow. There hasn't been any problems with it. So it, again, there seems to be some kind of a ramp issue uh, on some of them. People are reporting it's just I have not seen it with um, in my configuration with the, the Winchester uh, uh, hollow point. Um, I believe these are the 165. You know, I bought these about six months ago, so I'm not exactly sure. I think it. Yeah, I think it is a 165 grain uh, hollow point Winchester white box uh, standard pressure load. Um, it, it does a very good job uh, with that. So again, my name is Caden. This is Cas Castle Tutelage. This is if you're interested in a carbine and you like uh, what the high point can offer with the simple blowback design. What I did not get into is taking this thing apart is um, an ordeal. Um, it's probably about a four minute process once everything is said and done. I'm not going to take it apart because I don't have my special tool here, but there's plenty of other videos on YouTube on how to take this apart and how to clean it. Um, it's just something that you got to get used to. And, and yes, it's it's difficult, but it, again, it's easy after you do it a couple of times. So again, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tutelage, your home defensive network. I hope this helps.